right, right, right. Hello, how you doing Mike Bradley? Hope you are doing well as always. So, are you playing the guitar the wrong way round? What, what the hell am I talking about? What, <laughs> why even come up with a question like this or a query or a video like this? And if you stick with me in this video, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna realize this question's actually not a bad question to be asking. So round my neck, I have a right-handed guitar and I'm using quotation marks there uh, for good reason, right? But this is a, a Yamaha Revstar I'm using, great guitar. And this is deemed the right way, a right-handed way uh, and the right way uh, to play the guitar if you're right-handed, okay? Now, what I have on this stand next to me, um, up until a few, uh, literally a few minutes ago, was a very, very dusty, uh, but this is, I should hold it this way, a left-handed uh, guitar. This is an Epiphone SG. Uh, her pupil left it here about four years ago and never come around to get it. But, so this is a left-handed guitar, okay? Um, now, if you have seen my videos before, and hopefully you have, hello, and if you haven't, hello. Um, I have mentioned, I think, a couple of times, but maybe I haven't, I'm not sure, but I am left-handed. I write with my left hand, and I should really prove this point, shouldn't I? Let me get a pen and paper, and I'll prove this point. So here I have a pen and paper, I have my left hand, and my name is Mike. <laughs> like, so, if I try writing with my right hand, um, <laughs> My <laughs> name is Mike. Uh, <laughs> let me say that some could argue that the right hand is going to be uh, neater. So there's my left hand. There's my right hand. Some could argue maybe the right hand is uh, neater than the left. Who knows? But I am very at home on my left hand. So I'm I'm left-handed, but I play the guitar right-handed, all right? Now, I mean, <clears throat> when I was a kid, I broke my left wrist right at the beginning of the summer holidays. I think I was six. I believe I was about six years old. And, you know, classic thing, on a climbing frame, hanging off. I used to always hang out with the older kids and everyone was hanging off this uh, fireman's pole and, uh, you know, hanging off and then dropping. And I was six and I was scared. It was quite a big drop, especially for a six-year-old. And this older kid undid my fingers while I was hanging. I fell, <laughs> snapped my wrist, and uh, it snapped in three places on my left uh, arm, on my le left wrist here. Uh, Given the summer holiday, so I was still running around. I, s I had a swimming party booked for my birthday, I remember, and I didn't want to cancel it, so my mum uh, wrapped a black sack around my, uh, around my cast, and I was swimming like this, uh, and of course it didn't heal. Uh, sorry, the cast got wet, I had to put a new cast on. Turned out my arm didn't heal, so the doctors had to snap my arm again. Oh, and um, I was in plaster for about, I was in a cast for about, I think, 10 to 12 weeks, you know, coming up about three months. So when I went back to school, uh, year two or something in, in UK terms, um, when I went back to school, I was writing a little bit right handed. And my right-handedness is probably still the same when I was six, seven years old as it is now. <laughs> but you know, then the cast went off and I went back to left. So, but I've all, as some things I do left, some things I do right. I am very much though a left-handed person. I feel this is my stronger arm. You know, if I was to punch, I, I punch with my left, you know, southpaw. Uh, I kick a ball with my left foot. Uh, but if I was to use scissors, I use my right hand. Uh, if I was to play like tennis or anything batting would be left. Well, I say anything batting. If I was to do tennis, it'd be left. But if I was to play golf or cricket or something, or rounders, it would be right. Um, if I was to shoot, it would be the right-handed way. Um, but what I'm getting at, you know, so I do some things left, some things right. But I played the guitar the right-handed way. Um, now, I, I do this uh, because I think the way, you know, this way of playing the guitar, like what, probably 90% of guitarists play this way. I think this is the left-handed way. And I, I... <laughs> what are you talking about, Michael? <laughs> 
<laughs> but I, I really do. And the reason for that is that my strong arm is on the neck. So I've got a pick. Why do I put a pick? Um, so yeah, my strong, so if I want to do a big kind of bend, you know. <laughs> Bending has all, and, and vibrato has very much come, uh, I don't want to say natural to me, but I've, I've always felt it quite comfortable. So my strong hand, my strong arm is on the neck of the guitar. And then my weaker arm, weak, I'm like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> but my, 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 you know, less dominant arm is on the picking. Now, at the same time, I've had to work quite hard on my picking hand, you know, and stuff like that. But kind of legato. <laughs> That came a little bit easier to me. I remember when I was at music college and my mate next to me, uh, Graham, whatever his name was, uh, he said, uh, I think I was doing some kind of, um, I don't know what I was, was, probably, I don't know what I was doing actually, probably some scale, something like that. I can't really remember now, this is going back 15, 18 years now. Or something. Um, but I remember, God, you, he was like, you must practice all the time doing that. I was like, no. You know, it just kind of came natural to me. Picking fast, that hasn't come natural to me whatsoever. And I'm about to work at that. But that's cool, you know, I mean, we've always got to work at things on our guitar, you know, it's fine. So the left hand is, is very strong, you know, I, I feel strong with this arm and it's on the neck. My weaker hand is here. Now, if you're a right handed player, which I expect a lot of you watching this are right handed players, uh, your strong arm is here and your weaker arm is here all right which I find a little bit perplexing now if i take a left-handed guitar i don't even know this thing's in tune uh, kind of uh... you know what this has been sitting over there for about four years. Well done, Epiphone. Well done. Let me let me plug it in, actually. Yeah, that's not bad tuning-wise, is it? Right, so I've got it in tune. Flip it around this way. Uh, it feels so weird. And these strings are like deaf. They're so old. So here's an E chord. Uh, get the tone up here. All right. Uh, that's what it's so weird. Right, there's my E chord, all right? Um, <laughs> God am I. But so doing it this way, my strong arm is now here, okay? Because I'm left-handed, so my strong arm is now in the picking uh, and my weaker arm is on the neck, you know, so if I wanted to try and uh... <laughs> I tell you, if you ever want to know what it feels like to be a beginner again, like, do this. Um, now, so like I say, strong arm is here on the picking, <laughs> this very weak dead arm is on the neck here, okay? Now, if you think of our left-handed famous guitar players, Mr. Jimi Hendrix comes to mind straight away. He was a left-handed guitar poor, uh, left-handed guitar poor? I was thinking of South Poor when I said that. He was a left-handed guitar player, a South Poor. And, you know, actually he's one of the few left-handed guitar players uh, I think of where it doesn't look wrong, him being left-handed. Some guitar players who left-handed, you look at them and think, it just seems wrong. Jimmy, not so much. Anyway. But, so Jimi Hendrix played the guitar what is deemed a left-handed way. But he wrote with his right hand. Now, I don't know if some people knew that or didn't know that, but 
I have seen footage and I will try and actually find the footage and cut it in as I'm talking right now of Jimmy writing with his right hand. Um, and there are a few other left handed, uh, Dor uh, Dor Bramall II, uh, I believe he writes with his right hand and the amazing, phenomenal Jimi Hendrix of our 21st century, Eric Gales, uh, obviously plays the guitar left handed, what well, is deemed left handed, and but he writes with his right hand. So they're they're the I don't understand they're the opposite of me, but you know it's a similar thing there. So I'm I write with my left hand, you know I'm I'm very much a, this is my strong arm, my left arm here, but I play the guitar what is deemed the right-handed way, and then you've got three guys there, um, no Eric Gales, Jimi Hendrix, and Dor Bramall II. Um, if there was any more, please let me know in the comment section below if you know of any left-handed players who write right-handed. Um, but they write with their right hand. So, you know, that's when I start to think, well, people who are using their dominant hands on the fretboard, does it give them, and I say them because I, I'm, I'm classed in that category, but does it give us a bit of an upper hand? I don't know because, you know, as I'm talking to you now, I can remember, uh, I know of a few other uh, left-handed guys who write right-handed, Mark Knopfler, he is a left-handed person, plays guitar right-handed. Gary Moore was a left-handed guy, plays right. Um, Phil Hilborn, who does the guitar magazines, right kind of stuff, and session guy. I know he's left-handed, writes right. Steve Morse, I know he's left-handed, writes right. So there's a few, and, and again, if you know any more, please let me know in the comment section below. But there's a few, there's a few cats out there who uh, you know are playing the guitar with their dominating their dominant hand on the fretboard, you know? So this is this is right for me. That feels very, very, very wrong. <laughs> it just doesn't, you know, it doesn't feel right at all. I, you know, obviously I've been playing the guitar now for 23 years, so I'm very much used to playing it like that. So let me get my right-handed guitar. So it's certainly a food for thought, you know? I'm not saying to you in, in this video now to, you know, if you've been playing the guitar for X amount of years, you know, either left or right-handed to now all of a sudden stop playing the guitar and go back to being, you know, or try playing the opposite way of what you do. I'm not saying that. Uh, I just found it very interesting that, you know, uh, I remember when I started playing the guitar, no, when I asked my parents for a guitar, and my mum and dad kept saying, you sure you don't want left-handed guitar? Now, when I was 12, I wasn't really thinking about it, but I had picked up guitars and friends' guitars in the process of leading up to getting uh, my own guitar, and there was no question if it's left or right-handed. They gave me their guitar, and I had a little go on it, their bass guitar it was, actually, and I was sitting there playing this bass. I didn't even think anything about if it's left or right-handed. It just naturally fell like that to me. And I think if you are a beginner guitar player actually um, watching this, or if you know anyone who's about to start playing the guitar, I, I think, you know, if they're left or right-handed, uh, predominantly if they're left-handed here, I think they should play the guitar this way. I have nothing against if you're a lefty, but there's a lot more options out there if you are playing the guitar right-handed way. You know, if you go in a guitar shop, 98%, probably 99% of all the guitars in there are right-handed. And, you know I mean? You've got that little corner of the lefties, you know? And I feel very sorry for the lefties uh, who play, I'm a lefty, but, you know, guitar players who play left-handed. Um, so, you know, because both your hands need to get used to, you know, being coordinated with each other. So if you've never played the guitar before, you might as well just do it the right-handed way, even if you might, naturally feel like that if you're playing air guitar or something, but if you've never actually properly played the guitar before, get a right-handed guitar. Um, and, and, and also that way, your strong hand, my strong hand, if you've seen Scary Movie, nice uh, reference there, um, your strong hand is on the fretboard, you know. <laughs> So 
that's my food for thought. Um, have you ever thought of this? Has this ever crossed your mind that if you're a right-handed guy or if you're a left-handed guy, that you've technically been playing the guitar the wrong way? You know, said Michael James Bradley. <laughs> I may just be coming across like a complete plonk, but I do think it's a strong thing to think about. I really do, because, you know, with me having my stronger arm on the fretboard, I do feel it gives me, you now I've got my power there, you know? I'm not saying I don't get knackered, of course, you know, even now after, like I say, 23 years of playing, if I'm doing a load of bar chords on an acoustic, um, you know, I start feeling a bit knackered in my, in my left hand there. Knackered is an English slang for tired, in case you're from America, as I know some American friends of mine when I first said knackered a lot, what are you talking about? Um, but, you know, yeah, so my hands do still get tired, but, you know, like, everything is, is deemed from this arm for me, you know, like, this is my strong, this is my stronger arm. So, so this, for me, I look at it as like, well, it's just a way of playing the guitar, but for me, I'm like, well, this could be deemed left-handed, the left-handed way of playing. And how Jimi Hendrix played, and how Dora Bramall and Albert King, and uh, uh, I'm trying to think of all the lefties out there. I apologise, my mind is drawing a massive Paul McCartney. Um, but those guys could be playing what is deemed really the right-handed way, because you know the the right hand is on the fretboard, and that could be the strong hand. You know, so Paul McCartney is very much a strong left-handed guy. You know, that's probably a bad example. But like I say, with Jimmy. Um, I've seen him right, right-handed, and I'm not saying he was right-handed or anything like that. I think I've seen pictures of him with a bow and arrow as well, and he's doing it the the left-handed way. But he might just been a bit like me, kind of your your brains all over the place, and some things you do left, some things you do right. And I just noticed I did left with my right hand and right with my left hand. <laughs> but have a think about it. Uh, I think I thought it was just an interesting topic to talk about. And, um, you know, something to chat about down the pub when you're with your mates or something, you know, if you're, with your, you know, geeking out with your fellow guitar players. Um, and because I don't think I've seen or heard anyone else talk about this stuff, so I thought I might as well. Anyway, hope you're very much good and well. Uh, as always, if you want to get your Mike Bradley t shirts, there'll be a link in the description box below. Thank you to everyone who has been getting their t shirts. It's been great seeing all the pictures and stuff. and. I've been sharing them on Instagram. So if you do get one, do take a picture of yourself and I'll share and tag me on Instagram and I'll share it. It's, uh, it means a lot and it's a big support as well. Uh, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel, give it a good old like if you want, and uh, but definitely leave me a comment in the section box below. It'd be great to, I love reading all the comments from everyone. So it'd be cool uh, to see what everyone thinks and uh, about my crazy theory that you may be playing the guitar the wrong way. Uh, anyway guys, lots of love as always, and uh, I'll see you very, very soon. Mike Bradley, very much signing out with his left hand. Bye! The devil's on my side. Talking to myself again, I'm